Hello everyone and welcome to the Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial here with me. Today we're going to be looking at the auto color video effect. So to find that, the first thing you'd want to do is you want to go to your effects panel wherever you have it uh, selected. I have it in the lower left. And you want to go to video effects, drop it down and under the first group adjust, it's the top one. So. And I'm going to show you a couple different clips with the effect put on it and a couple of the different things that you can do uh, and, the, and the type of uh, look you can get just using a simple auto color effect. So let's make a new sequence. I'll start off with, let's say, the purple flowers because they're pretty. Created a new clip. And here we go. Now this is the original clip. This is how it was recorded. And you know what? It looks pretty nice. It's, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. But you will see that it has, you know, the little bit of blurring, like the, I guess you just say it looks a little oversaturated uh, for, in my, in my humble opinion. So let's go find the auto color effect. Let's click on the clip. And all you got to do is double click on it. And bang, there it is. It's applied. It comes with some default settings. Now, Auto Color makes quick global adjustments to a clip. That's basically what it's set up to do. Um, it adjusts the contrast and color by neutralizing the midtones and uh, basically clipping the white and black pixels. So that's the uh, official, semi-official definition of what we've got going on here. But, you know, taking a look at it, we've already can compare the regular, the original clip with the uh, adjusted clip by clicking on the toggle on the effect on or off here. So let's do that. That's the original. That's with the effect. Now, of course, it's all up to you, what whatever look you're going for. Um, but uh, already, I think we've got a little bit of a better look. I think the colors are popping a little bit here. I think the, the mid-tones are, are definitely uh, nice and, I guess, say, washed out, for lack of a better term. But anyways, let's take a quick look at some of the options. Temporal smoothing. Uh, this is basically, um, it's it's it basically is the range of adjacent frames. So the different frames as you go through um, are analyzed and compared to each other. So if you don't have temporal smoothing on, each frame is analyzed individually. If you do have it turned on, then this actually compares the current frame with frames that come before and after it, and it sort of smooths it out, of course, uh, the name notwithstanding. Um, this is here, this adjustment here is in seconds. So for example, if you want to compare the upcoming second and the second before, um, that would give you one second here. Um, I generally recommend going with one second. Sometimes you might want to go with more, but you know, one second seems like a fair number. And here we go. Flipping through, <clears throat> you'll see, yeah, it looks pretty good. Now, uh, scene detect, uh, we don't need to go into that one. Black clip, you know, do you want to clip your blacks a little bit more? Let's take a look at what it would go look like here. So, you know, as you move up, you'll see that, yeah, your blacks are uh, getting a lot more prominent. So, of course, season this to taste. Uh, it comes at default at 0.1%. And, you know, it, it, it makes a pretty big difference. So for me, I don't know, let's take a look. You want to eyeball this, I suppose. And, yeah, why not? Let's go with that. You can also clip your whites. If you want it to go a little bit more uh, brighter, if you want it to go darker, clip them out. Yeah, you know what? That looks about right. Snap neutral midtones. That basically... Um, Good job. It, it does a good job in suing mid-tones are basically cleaner. So your mid-tones are always set. And finally, you want to either blend it with original or have it set entirely on its own. So here we go. Like if you if you blend it with 100% with the original, well, geez, then you might as well not even use the effect. No effect. If you want it to not blend at all, well, then you'll see the big effect. Um, so anyways, you can season this to your taste as well. Um, I don't know, let's, let's blend it a little bit, let's say 30%. And let's take a look what we got. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Of course you want to pre-render this um, because we're running a bunch, because we're running an effect and it's using temporal smoothing, it's kind of heavy on the, um, the processor. 
But anyways, that's a quick look at the auto color effect off, on. Now let's take a look at, let's say, this Ferrari one. I have this is all free footage, of course. Uh, we'll take another quick look, show you what it looks like. All right, where is that effect? Auto color, drop it on, bang. You know, quite a, quite a big adjustment right away. Let's take a look here. On, off. Definitely like it on. It's a lot better. You'll see the, the blues and the reds really, really pop compared to um, the other one, which kind of has the the original, which is sort of washed out look. So already we're we're getting somewhere. We'll turn the temporal smoothing up to say one second, and of course season to taste. So if you want to clip your blacks a lot more, clip them less. I don't know. That looks pretty good. And clip your whites. Hmm. Oh, wow. That looks... Where do we want to be? Where do we want to be? That looks pretty good. Yeah, look at the red cars really popping out there. And, of course, blend to original. Um, and I'll show you one last uh, example. This one's pretty... Uh, this one's a pretty good example as well, because you'll really see it. Uh, so let's go to the clip. Go to the effects double click it to apply it and bang huge effect um, original wow that looks really 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 bright and it's yeah not really my thing and auto color there we go guys so anyways that's a quick look at the auto color effect uh, this is not of course a um, color grading uh, tutorial uh, this is basically just eyeballing it and using the auto color effect you'll kind of get the look that you're going for. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching this and I'll be back soon with some more uh, tutorials. Cheers.